smile, uh, tune in. What you know about Platt? The forum is the format. It's M-A-Z and Tomcat. Who cares who came before that? You should trust me, it's official. Don't just take the flow for granted. We discuss important issues. What's remote and local town? We re-host and make the topics flow. Click the link and watch the show. Listen while you're driving home. But don't forget to watch the road. With folks from different walks of life. Gangsters, politicians, single mothers, or musicians. It's important that we... You know, I got one last question, actually. Uh, it's for Miss Granlin. Like uh, I'm like you said uh, in the beginning, uh, part one of our um, of our uh, podcast, uh, you talked about the relationship between your mother and uh, Mrs. House. Now, um, again, I want you to like bring it back. I thought it was real powerful, and um, if you could just bring it back and uh, let us know, like how it bled into, I guess your style of play, so to speak, the way you teach and um, just your belief system as a whole, as far as like, uh, I guess you more so on the, uh, it takes a village type of mind state opposed to, you know, one person. But yeah, just, could you speak on that, please? Absolutely. I I like to surround myself with people like Ivan. I like to surround my peop- myself, people like Miss Reeves and, um, and Janelle. I like to surround my peop- myself around people who know more than me. Right on. Mm-hmm. And I think if you, if you live off that model, as you don't know everything, you know, you, you are a, uh, your, your craft and who you are, that's great, but it's somebody else that got some more knowledge that you could take in. And if I can learn something new every week, me and my husband been together 23 years, but he just got into stock so deep and heavy. He teaches me. That's a blessing to be able to be taught in your own household. Right. So, to always gravitate to somebody. I mean, I'm sitting there being taught by a man that you, or, and that's another thing. Don't always think you know somebody. Mm. We always are evolving <laughs> and growing. I hate when people put me in the box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. During COVID, I became an introvert when usually I hated being in the house. I had to be gone. Mm-hmm. And now I love being in the house. So I had a girlfriend tell me, you know, you're not an introvert. How are you going to tell me what I am? <laughs> I wasn't there yesterday. I am today. So <laughs> don't box people in. Let people grow. So I'm so glad you mentioned that with Miss House because I had another girlfriend just today ask me if I could do it all my life all over again, would I change anything? Hmm. My life was not, it was not good, okay? As a kid, it was just, it was not good. And I shed tears for the little girl who went through it, right? Oh, yeah. Today, oh. my mother, me and my mother have a great relationship. We still work, 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 we're working on it. But we have a better relationship than we did, right? Yeah. And who raised me was not my mother, it was crack cocaine. Mm. That's the difference. So... Mm. You know, we are not our devices. You know, our devices don't, sh- you know, don't shake who we are. Yeah. So in order for me to forgive my mother for being raped, molested, homeless, and everything else as a kid, I had to forgive my mother, not the crack cocaine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't blame my mother. You know, that that was, and that was her coping mechanism. Yeah. So that's why I said during COVID, you had people really stray to things that were not good for them. Yeah. Um, so Miss House, you know, Miss House and so many other educators, I, I'm thankful that I came up in, in the education system when I did, because these new breed teachers could care less. Most teachers, they only want to work in an urban environment to pay off that five. Because if you work in an urban environment for five years, they'll pay off a loan for you. Mm. Mm. So they work for five years and then they go to the district they really want to work. Oh, in. what? Seriously. And Mr. Hester, no. I mean, so everything is it's everything again. Mm. But if you think about the teachers who you had in the second grade, third grade, first grade, you got whooped, you got paddled, you might have got slapped in your mouth, but they mm-hmm. loved you. Yeah. That's the truth. I'm just that that's that was you know today that's horrific. No, I needed to get paddle. paddle. Yeah, I needed it. So for Miss House, when she 
bought me a pair of winter boots, when she bought me a winter coat, when I, my mother sent me to school without a coat on. And I mean, I, it was a Michigan winter when I was, I wasn't in a, uh, first grade, probably first grade at Jamison Middle School. And my mother sent me out the house with no coat and a pair of black shiny dress shoes. And the snow was above my knees. I'm like trucking as a little kid mm -hmm. down Linwood, no Lawton, I'm sorry, down Lawton trying to get to Jamison. Mm -hmm. By the time I got to school, I was frostbit all over my body. Hmm. And Miss House stopped her class, stopped her class, took me in the teacher's lounge and warmed my whole body up, just rubbed my body. You don't get that right now. We, if we as educators, we can't even touch kids. Right. right. Mm. So no. I needed the touch. I needed the love. I needed the support. Mm -hmm. I needed to know that every black African-American woman wasn't on drugs. I needed to know that there were black women out there that could heal my heart. And that's yeah. what my teachers did for me. Even in high school, my mother was still on drugs. I was homeless in high school. And that led to so much. Me looking for older guys who could take care of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's so many, you know, my whole life story could be a documentary, everybody tell me. And, I, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with everything that I happened to me. I've been in the production team. <laughs> I'm okay with it because the outcome is greater. Yes, right so on. I'm not right gonna on. give up on me. And you don't look Happy like ending. what you've been through at all. He's saying you, shining, beautiful <laughs> black woman. Thank you, Jesus. And that's For why I tell years. people, you can't do nothing to me that ain't already been done. So when people attack me, attack my character, or don't understand why I am, who I am, and how I function, it's because I've been through hell as a kid and I ain't trying to go back. Right. <laughs> so my peace is everything. And so, even, you know, Mr. Hester, I'm sure, and, you know, Miss Reeves and Janelle, when you are, we all work with, with in public sectors where you got to deal with people. Right. And people come with a whole lot of baggage. And yes, they do. Kids come with their parents yes, too. <laughs> and the parents. Mm. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. I've had a parent try to jump on me before. Mm. So, and I was and I was ready to fight. I was ready to fight. <laughs> and lose my guy. She got you messed up for real. <laughs> I was ready because I'm sitting here caring about your kid, and you don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you want to fight? So that part, that's that's something because I, I we had a segment on with a veteran not so long ago. And I also I always make a point to thank my veterans um because it's a thankless job. But you know, I think this this Zoom made me want to thank the teachers because I myself have had the teachers who you know, care above and beyond expectations and push like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not accepting this from you because I know you can do better. And that made me want to push myself to do better. So thank you, exactly. all teachers who go above and beyond and not doing it just for a check, because if it's anything like what I remember, the check what is check? not <laughs> it's, it's not correlating <laughs> to what you guys have to go through. So thank you. The is. Oh my gosh, so you are encountering uh why I didn't get my financial aid check and you know everybody at this college owe you, but uh yeah, sometimes yeah that paycheck don't don't give you is yes. I, I, I know, I understand. I that's like that sweater. A, that is a nice sweater. <laughs> <laughs> and glasses, the socky glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hester, I want. Can I ask Mr. Hester a question? Sure. Okay, yeah. Can I be honest with you, Mr. Hester? Yeah. So Don't you hit on him. He married. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> and I know your husband. That's right. I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> It is like, about get deep like, like, should I step out? I'm Listen, let me let me say this. In. We need to do a show on relationships. Because let me oh, tell you this. Goodness, okay. Just because I'm married don't mean I still don't want to know I got it. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I even took it somewhere. Mr. Hester. Yes. Um, so when I first saw you, unfortunately, my first impression was like. Oh, he got a rapper on here. Uh. <laughs> no, and I'm saying I, I like to be real, right? Okay. Because I'm really checking myself okay. in the event because I didn't see you as an educator. Okay. You know what? And, um, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not to cut you no, off. go, go, go. Because I know you know where I'm going. Mo I, I get that all the time. You a teacher? Really? And then, and then, and then, my 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 uh my age is always uh up for questioning. Um, I'm I'm a little older than I look, so I. I How old are you? I'm thirty plus. I'm older than thirty, but younger than thirty five. So I'm, I'm I've been around the block. Me and don't here. like to tell their ages. What happened? Uh, I'll be thirty. Hey, I'll be thirty four. Mister Hester. I'll be thirty three, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you like yeah. some kind of showroom singer, like yeah, we don't be talking about. Both. Huh? <laughs> nah, I'll be like 32 in the mark. For, uh, an Apollo or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if it was because I was shorter, but it feels like when I was in school, teachers were, were taller. Like, mm -hmm. they just, they just, they're my size now. Maybe because I'm bigger. Maybe, yeah. I know I know they were older when I was in school. Like every teacher was like, you yes, know, Sam Johnson. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah like, you know what I mean? like those were my teachers. Like, I don't know, I don't know where this new young sexy teacher <laughs> came from, but <laughs> hey, I'm all for it. <laughs> and, and all of, and all the real estate agents ain't never look like Janelle. You know what I mean? <laughs> So like hello, hey, hello. Hey. like anytime. You hear me? No, no, no. All these <laughs> white shoes and stuff. You hear me? They were never as fancy as this. Like we're talking about Miss Brief sweater and Miss Granley. Everybody just looks so nice. All my teachers smell like Bengay and Mofa. <laughs> broke them down. Hey, like talk about their grandkids all the time. Like we didn't, we didn't have this. With the gravelly voice, right. thanks. Turn your pages. Now, also, my pastor, one of the things that you right. like, one of the things I that I, I worry about that I with black men world. teaching. Yeah. Um. There was a young man that I went to school with, Janelle. You might remember him. He committed suicide because he was sleeping around with the girl. Um. Mm. um in yeah. Inkster, Inkster High School. Oh yeah, I, I, I remember. Yeah, that I forgot the gentleman's name. But I, you know, you do know that a lot of times that they don't hire African-American males as teachers. Well, first of all, it's a 1%. Like, it's not that many Black men that teach. Yeah, we need I, more of that. We've been needing that for 10 years. Yeah. yeah. So how do you, because, you know, these girls look different. I'm just, mm -hmm. and I'm keeping it real, real. Mm -hmm. They don't look like I looked when I was in high school. Oh, look! Luckily, luckily for him, uh, before you go there, luckily for him, his <laughs> wife is fine already. That's true. That don't, that don't look, mean these I, girls won't try about him. The ladies, how he how he keep his eyeballs in his own socket? Well, his wife fine. No, the question is, the question is, how do he protect place. himself? Oh, yeah. that part. We don't talk about that part. Don't nobody want him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, um, I, I, I speak up. Honestly, I speak up uh, the minute I see anything close to being an issue. Um, when I was uh, when I was at Mumford, um, I was a student teacher and, and sub for a little bit at uh, at Mumford um, last uh, last school year and part of the school year prior to. So I, I did have a couple of, um, I guess, things that could have blown up if I didn't say anything. Um, I, I was a ninth grade uh, US history uh, long term sub. Um, my, my nickname was Mr. Sexy. I had that shut down. For <laughs> yeah, I, I had that, had that shut down. For um, and I call you no Mr. Sexy. <laughs> nah, so I promise on everything that was my, my nickname. 
I had that, you know, I, I had to get that shut down from the place. Um, I, I hate you, it. Mr. Sexy. <laughs> hey, I don't know, I, you know, they're they 14 years old. I, you know, I was, yeah. you know, 30 at the time. So I, you know, for me, it's, it's like, look, I, I got, I got, I got stuff to uh, wake up and do the next day. I don't, I don't have time to wake up in somebody's jail cell. So that's right. When things like that come, I go, I go straight to administration. I say, yo, look, this is, this is what was said. This is who said it. Y'all do something. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I got stuff to do tomorrow. Give it a chance to flourish. But lucky, luckily yeah. for you, luckily for you, honestly, at this stage, even over 30 or even in your 20s, 14 is not even attractive. It's, yeah, you know it's, it's not even attractive. Got, you know, yeah, got, got, got kids got that age and right. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even it's from you you kids. Like I okay, say say what you want. You a kid. You know what I mean? So I don't even Yeah. I don't even I don't even let it get that far. Yeah. I've been posting on social media and everything. I don't I let it roll right off. I don't ask Kayla if she remember Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton? Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a story to ask about later. Yeah, he was he was a young at 15. I was little and he was tall. <laughs> we reach we reaching our time, ladies and gentlemen. We reaching our time. Okay, okay, he, okay. Wipe your wipe your chin, Jasmine. Wipe your chin. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I have one fine teacher. Yeah, we, we, we reaching our time. We ain't gonna let Jasmine keep this one going. If, if y'all yeah, can plug y'all, she drifted off. If y'all can, Mr. Hester, I definitely want to link up with you. I have some questions. Come here. Okay. And then uh, my husband been dying. To, uh, Show his face. All right. Yeah. We don't want to see him. Whatever. <laughs> hey, he's he trying to he trying to be a star up. <laughs> star up. So yeah, Mr. Tessar, I definitely got some some questions for you okay. offline. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. If before we go, and if thank you for allowing out. us three ladies to be a part of your program again. We appreciate it. Next oh no, no, thank thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank hey, you. About now? I've been trying to say something real quick before we go. If y'all can plug y'all social media so people can get in touch with y'all or if anything y'all got going on, you know, maybe y'all can plug it right now. But social media, definitely, because uh, all the information is always necessary. Well, my name is Janelle underscore the number one realtor at... Uh, in, uh, on uh, Instagram and Janelle Cottrell on Facebook. <clears throat> Janelle Cottrell from Facebook. With e with what is the name of the real estate company? Oh, EXP Real Estate. <clears throat> Excuse okay. me. Okay. Okay. And you can also Google me. Hey. Oh, we. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Marcus. Uh okay. I'm uh on Instagram, uh the infamous I N T H E I N F A M O U S underscore Marcus Musa M A R C U S M U S A. Uh Facebook, uh my first name, M A R C U S, the middle initial D like dog, and then Hester. You really get you really gave in to that Mr. Sexy shit. <laughs> Didn't it? He really gave it to that. about infamous. He's talking about infamous, too. He really gave it to that Mr. Sexy. He's hey, Mr. Sexy I, I, for real. Too, too much, too much mob beat. Too much mob Miss <laughs> <laughs> Reeves. Uh, well, my uh, Instagram and Facebook are both personal pages. Um, however, uh, if anybody watching is interested in um, taking some college courses, uh, you can um, join me at Wayne County Community College District. Uh, the website is www.wccd.edu. Awesome. Last but not least, Ms. Granley. Um, so on Instagram, I am Grantling5, and so that's just G-R-A-N-T-L-I-N-G, the number five. And um, you guys, I don't, I don't, are you, are, is your show on Instagram? No, just YouTube right now, yep. No, 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 yep. and, I, and, I, and I blame the executive producer. It is. <laughs> Look it up, Si. It is. And this has been. <laughs> Another wonderful episode of Platform. We want to thank all of our special guests, man. We appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the insight. We love y'all platform, man. We out. Thank y'all so much. Bye. 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 Have a good one. Be safe. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs>